Daddy's Dark Whispers. Subscribe and like and hit the notification button. Then you'll always know when Daddy's coming home. You're just going to crawl into the bed and not say anything. What the hell do you think you're doing trying to sneak into the bed at 3 o'clock in the morning? Don't you ask me if I'm awake. You'd know I'm awake. Who in the hell do you think you are nowadays? Sneaking in the bed at 3 o'clock. I want to ask you a question. Since when did three o'clock look like eleven o'clock? When did eleven o'clock become three o'clock? That's what I want to know. What? Don't start talking to me about the girls. I didn't tell the girls to be home at 11. I told you to be home by 11. And it's 3 o'clock in the motherfucking morning. What have you been doing all night long? Nothing. You've been doing nothing from eight o'clock to three o'clock. You've been doing nothing, baby girl. That's what you're telling me. Nothing. Where am I going? Since when do you get to question me about where am I going? Where am I going? I'm going to the closet to get the fucking belt because I'm going to beat your ass going and coming tonight. No, no, don't start fucking telling me how sorry you are. You're not sorry at all. If you were sorry, you would have started off getting in the bed saying, I'm sorry, Daddy, I'm sorry. But you tried to trick Daddy, you tried to fool Daddy, you tried to manipulate Daddy by sneaking into the bed hoping Daddy was asleep so that you can wake up in the morning and act like you've been in the bed since 11 o'clock last night. As a matter of fact, you get up and go over to that closet and you get my whipping strap because daddy is going, daddy's going to ass tonight, girl. Daddy's gonna tear it up. Tear it up. Get up and go get the belt. Don't you act mad. You don't have a right to act mad. I told you 11 o'clock. 
that's what I told you. Don't start crying. Just reach in there and get that belt. Which one? Oh, which one? The cowhide burgundy one. That one. I don't want to hear your excuses now. And you know I hate it when you blame others. You knew you had to be home at 11. And you could have made sure the girls knew that. Give me that belt. Close the closet. You're going to learn that when daddy tells you to do something, you do it. When daddy allows you to go out and have a good time with your friends, but I tell you to be home at a certain time, you bring your ass home. At that time, and you don't come four hours later trying to sneak into the bed with all of your fucking excuses. Daddy really wonders what the hell you've been doing all night long. You say nothing. How sad it is to get the hell beat out of you. For nothing. Go over there to the dresser. And assume. The position. Legs. Spread apart. And if I were you. I would hold on for dear life. I would hold on to it for dear life. I don't mean 12. When daddy tells you to come home at 11, I don't mean 1 o'clock. When daddy tells you to come home at 11, I don't mean 2 a.m. When daddy tells you to come home at 11, baby girl, it doesn't mean 3 a.m. No, no, stand there. Stay right there. Daddy's not done. That was just a spanking with the belt. Now you get daddy's bare hands pink. Pull your panties all the way down. All the way down to your ankles. <sighs> Stick that ass out.
hurts, it's supposed to hurt. And it's going to always hurt. The only way it's not going to hurt anymore, baby girl, is if you come home when daddy tells you to come home. Now, take your pillows and go downstairs to the basement. You can't sleep up here with daddy tonight. Daddy's horribly disappointed with you. You've been such a naughty girl. You deserve the basement. There's no light down there. So what? And it's cold. So what? You've been such a naughty girl. Go to the basement now. That's what you get for being such a bad naughty girl tonight. The basement. Go. Daddy's Dark Whispers. Subscribe and like and hit the notification button. Then you'll always know when daddy's coming home.